someone's going to put a chest tube in. Uh, you guys are going to have to fill, the, fill this okay. up. The only sterile, the only sterile part of this whole setup is is the tip, tip of this uh, connector. Okay. So you set everything up. You keep it just like it, you know, keep it like it is. And then this, there's, there's there's three sections. This is the, this is the drainage compartment. This is the suction, and this is water seal. Okay. These are the three components of this quarterback. When you fill it up, it has to be filled up to this line. This is 20, gives you 20, 20 centimeters of water suction. This line here is a water seal, I'll explain that in a second. This goes to two, two, two centimeters. This level has, so the order is going to be 20 centimeters of continuous suction. Okay? This is 20 centimeters. Okay. This is 20 centimeters. This is 20 centimeters. It is, again, it is not how high the suction is, it's the level of this water. Mm -hmm. You can hook this up to a jet engine. You're not going to get more than 20 centimeters of water. So you have to be certain that this level, and this evaporates, it spills over into this chamber. You have to have this at, tw at the 20 centimeter line at all times to have 20 centimeters. And all you need is a small bubbling. Now this is showing a lot of air leak because it's not connected to anything. But if this were in the, if this were in the lung, then we can convert it to there. And that's even too much suction. Mm -hmm. yeah. All you need is just a little suction. That much just to know that it's working. Okay? Now, so the little drain here, you obviously keep keep track of your level. When we order someone, the chest tube is going to come out. And, uh, what we do is we have the patient the suction for a couple days. And then when we're ready to take the chest tube out, we convert them to water seal. So you'll see an order that will say, chest tube to water seal, okay? We're going to pretend this is a chest tube into the patient, okay? This is not water seal. This now is a closed system that will cause attention to the thorax, okay? So what you do is you take the, the uh, you take this and you disconnect it from the suction, okay? This is still not water seal because this is closed to air. What water seal means is that the, the, uh, the uh, chest tube connected to this box will flow air back and forth through the, through the lung. So it will keep the lung, lung expanded. If you have it closed like this, okay, let's say you've just taken it off, you see the order to DC suction, you turn the suction off and you leave it like this. This is a closed system. So if there is a small tiny leak, that air will, will continue to, to accumulate in a pleural space and will cause tension. So when they say DC suction, it means you disconnect it from the suction and make sure that this is open to air so that if there is a leak, it won't cause attention. And then after 24 hours, we keep the chest for 24 hours on a water seal. We repeat the chest x-ray. If that x-ray is okay, then we remove the tube. Okay. So the important things of this are that this has to be maintained at all times at 20 centimeters. This has to be maintained at 2 centimeters. If this spills over and this is really high, then it has to be changed. Or, you know, they, they won't have. It'll be. It'll be a, a detriment to the to the expansion of the lung. So this has to be kept. You know, it can get up to to five or ten, but once it gets up to the over ten range, then this product has to be changed. Okay. And then, so the important things I'm trying trying to, to get across is that the levels have to be maintained. The suction doesn't have to be sky high. What what uh, what is 20 centimeters of water suction? So water suction is where this level is. It's nothing to do with the amount of suction that's in. And then one of the more important things is that once water sealed, this has to be open with this gauge uh, straight so that this is open. If it's like this, then this creates a closed system, which will cause a tension. If it stays like that, again, that's a closed system. Even like this is a closed system with the suction off. So water seal is open with this little valve in line with the tip. Okay? Questions? Do you prefer do you prefer the line to stay within um, instead of pulling out or is can it be just open like no, that? Better, it doesn't it's, it's better it's better to, to take this off so somebody doesn't accident. accidentally. Accidentally. Yeah. Right, right. It's better to just leave it open so you and know it's off okay. you know it's off suction and it's fine like this. Okay. Okay. This is not fine. This is still closed. This is open. Okay, thanks. Okay. Alright. So you guys are now I asked for a volunteer but no one wanted to volunteer to put a chest of it. What? <laughs> All right, any questions, sir?
you guys are not the experts. Thank you. All right? Okay.